Butterflies conjure up images of sunshine, warmth and colors. They are one of the most adored insects for their enchanted beauty and representation of good luck and positive change. They are indicators of a healthy environment and a healthy ecosystem. This is the second of the documentary I am doing in my channel on the topic of nature around us. The first was a documentary covering more than 120 birds around the place I live. I am no professional studying butterflies, but I thought I will make a documentary of them because I spot them daily. Ruxa Silvana is a community at the outskirts of East Bangalore. All the pictures used here are taken by me. The objective of these documentaries is to encourage people to be conscious of the nature around us, enjoy it and celebrate it. If you like this, please do press the like button, provide your comments and subscribe to the channel. This documentary features about 40 butterflies that I have managed to capture and identify. Common mormons are one of the most sighted butterflies in our community. They are known to mimic other butterflies like the common rose and the crimson rose. This is to give an impression to the predators that they are inedible. Since we spoke of the common rose and the crimson rose, let them be next. These beautiful butterflies are best told by their red bodies. Their bright coloration acts as a warning to predators about their unpalatable nature. Common lime is also commonly sighted in Fuxa, especially during summer and after rains. They are very fast, but do stop at flowers often. Now we will see three butterflies that are called tigers. The plain tiger is one of the thriving butterflies even in an urban landscape. Their choice of larval host plant, the milkweed, makes both the caterpillar as well as the butterfly unpalatable. The striped or common tiger is one of the most common butterflies in India. It closely resembles the monarch butterfly of the Americas. Another tiger is the blue tiger. They show a gregarious migratory behavior and is seen in company of other butterflies. Common crow or it is also called as common Indian crow. These are inedible and hence often mimicked by other butterflies like the great egg fly. Now in the first picture the great egg fly is seen mimicking the common crow. This is referred as Batesian mimicry. It is a phenomenon in which a non-harmful species have evolved to mimic the appearance of a species that is harmful to potential predators. I have spotted the tawny coastal vanillas. It is one of those butterflies which has a very weak flight. Now let us talk about the pansies. Starting with the blue pansy. You may often see this butterfly conspicuously basking in the sun with its wings wide open. The second pansy is the yellow pansy. They are highly polymorphic meaning individuals can be variable in their markings and coloring as can be seen in these two photographs. The lemon pansy changes coloration and even shape between wet and dry season. Both these pictures are around the wet season. In the dry season the markings are obscure and dull and that helps it camouflage in the dried leaf litter. The chocolate pansies are known to be the most territorial and are seen chasing other butterflies from their territory. We can also see one of the largest butterflies found in India, the blue mormon at Pruksa. It is the state butterfly of the Indian state of Maharashtra. Although I spot them often, I have not been able to get a good photograph of the two J butterflies, the common J and the tail J. You might see the yellow small butterflies often. There are many types of them. The common immigrant gets its name from its habit of migration. It is a fast flyer and covers long distances. The grass yellow is another common sighted butterfly. 
There are a number of subspecies in them which are separated by the size, the black spotting and the black botch. The pioneer is another commonly cited butterfly in our community. A characteristic hockey stick like spot in the middle of the fore wing is the identification. They turn more yellowish during monsoon. The common Jezebel is one of the most common species in the genus Delias. It has evolved a dull upper side and a brilliant underside, which is contrary to most other butterflies. The orange tips are less spotted. I have also spotted the greater orange tip. The inside black marking in the orange tip distinguishes them. But when the wings are closed, they are very well camouflaged as a dry leaf. The common wanderer is a pale blue butterfly marked with dark veins throughout and has prominent black border. Some of them show a dash of yellow. The common leopard is another sun-loving butterfly which avoids shades. They are also very active. The common castor is another orange butterfly with dark lines. These are commonly seen and they usually sit at places for long durations. The common sailor is a charming butterfly which does a lot of gliding in its flight. I have sighted them very less in our community. Another glider is the common baron. They can be seen often feeding in the decay of roots. Now let us look at a couple of brownies. The bush brown is a dingy brown butterfly that is difficult to spot among dry leaves and twigs where they are mostly found. The common evening brown usually appear towards dusk. As can be seen, they are very talented camouflage artists. The common albatross is a butterfly that is less seen at Prutsa. Now we will be looking at some of the small butterflies. Let us start with the common banded owl. Very commonly sighted in the lantana bushes in our community. They are distinct with their big eyes and the white band in their wings. Psyche is a delicate small butterfly usually spotted during monsoon. Don't ask me why that name. Zebra blues are common in our community, but found more around wildflowers than in our gardens. They are comparable to the pyrot butterflies. Talking about pyrot, the red pyrot, although small, you will not miss this strikingly colored one. They are commonly found in our garden and usually seen in the same place often. The ape fly get their name from their pupae, which is shaped like a monkey's head. The gram blue is one of the small blues butterfly. They are usually found post monsoon. The bubble blue is another small velvet spotted blue butterfly. They can fly fast, mostly spotted in open areas of our community. The common cerulean is another small butterfly that can be seen often in the open grounds of our community. I spotted the Indian sunbeam once and it was the female I spotted. The Indian grizzle skipper looks like a moth. They are often seen on open places and on sunny days post the rain. Please do visit my Facebook page SJ My Nature and my Instagram page SJ by Nature to follow more. Thank you for watching this. Hope this inspires you to look at the nature around you. Do not forget to like and subscribe.